Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Oh hi, thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Because I know it has been like about three months since I've uploaded a video and I just want to apologize for that. Nothing happened. I just kind of just stopped making videos. You know, I remember in the last video I told you guys that I was getting a new job and that that might affect my upload schedule. I didn't think it would mean that I would not upload at all. So I did want to apologize for that. A lot of you guys were sending me messages through Instagram like saying like, Hey, when are you uploading a new video? Or I want to see a new video. Or why do you stop making videos? And I didn't stop. I just... Not for good at least. And I just want to tell you guys that I am back again and I hope to have a regular uploading schedule up again. I just don't know when it's going to be. <laughs> also, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and then hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. For today's video, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy palette. This is it right here. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, so if I'm not, don't come for me, but... This is what we're going to be using today. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So because this palette is really new, I just want to show you guys the packaging for it. This is a little box that it comes in right here. And then the actual palette is just pink with glitter on it. I think it is really pretty because first of all, pink is my favorite color. As you can tell, my nails are pink, my shirt is pink, and then this palette is pink. This is what the back looks like and then it's just glitter. It doesn't really come off that easily but a little bit of it does so it's not that bad. I mean I personally like glitter but I just don't like like the mess that glitter makes if that makes sense. But other than that I think it's just really pretty. These are what the colors look like right here. I already used this palette yesterday because I don't know if I mentioned it earlier but I did try to film this video yesterday but... It turned out a mess, so I just ended up stopping the video. I was not happy with how it was turning out, and it was just one of those days, you know? It just it just wasn't it. <laughs> but hopefully today goes by so much better. If you're new to my channel, typically for makeup tutorials, I do not do my eyebrows on camera just because I find it boring. I don't feel like it's as interesting. But I do always list the products that I use in the description box below, so make sure you are checking that out before you leave. For today, I'm going to be starting with my eye makeup first. The very first step is going to be to use my e.l.f. Camo Concealer in the shade Tan Walnut to prime my eyelids. I'm blending it out with the Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. So I'm having a really hard time trying to pronounce this right here because I, I think it's meant to be like said with an accent from New York, you know, the people how they talk from New York. So I think it's like New Yorker. That's the best way I can pronounce this, but either way, I'm going to use that shade with a Morphe M441 in my transition area. With the Morphe M456, I'm going to be taking the shade right here, 1988, and I'm going to be using that on the outer corner and bring it into the crease. Same concealer from earlier, I'm going to go ahead and cut the crease. So for the lid shade, I'm going to be using this shade right here, Dragon, and I'm going to be using a M166 brush for that. I'm going to try wetting it and using it, and if that doesn't work, I'll just use my finger. With the Morphe M4 through and I'm going to be taking the shade again right here. This is 1988 and I'm just going to clean up behind where I cut the crease. With the ABH brush, I'm just going to be taking a little bit of this black shade right here and putting it on the outer corner. So on the other end of the ABH brush, I did take this shade right here, Gorgina or Georgina, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I did take a little bit of that and added it to the outer corner of the cut crease. For liner, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Fly Liner in the shade because I'm black. For mascara, I am going to be using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. Now, if you guys have been watching my channel for quite a while, you guys know that I love the Kiss 
ritzy lashes but today I have these new lashes that I've been loving from kiss these right here are the kiss lashes in Piani they're basically just like the ritzy lashes but with a little more volume to them and I am just really obsessed with them so I wanted to share these lashes with you guys in case you guys do like the ritzy lashes these are basically the same thing but just a little more volume to them so I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera and apply my lashes off camera as well just because I want to save a little bit of time so I will be right back okay so I'm back with the lashes and all and now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the face makeup for the face makeup I'm going to go ahead and use my primers for primers I'm going to be using this one first this is the wet and wild water drop primer it is in the coconut scent and I will be using the elf poreless putty primer just in my t-zone so back in the day, I used to talk about this foundation a lot. I used to really like this foundation. This is the main foundation that I used to use in my videos. And the other day, I stumbled upon this baby right here. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Foundation. But this is the glowy version, so I'm really excited to try this out. Right off the bat, I can tell you that I did pick the shade too dark for me. Um, they didn't really have much shade ranges where I went at CVS. So this was like my best option because the other one was going to be way too light. So I got, I went ahead and got this one and we're going to see how we can make it work. Yeah, this shade is hella dark for me, but I'm just really bad at picking out my foundation shades. So <gasps> it is what it is. so this foundation gave me like no coverage i'm applying more just because i feel like that first layer gave me no coverage whatsoever and typically i do like a light to medium coverage but like damn that was like nothing honestly it just gave me color after just using two layers of this foundation i feel like it's still very light coverage and i'm not a fan of that because that's not what i was expecting you know what i'm saying i was expecting at least medium coverage foundation just glowy but honestly, I I don't like how it looks so far. But we'll see how it gets when I finish the rest of my makeup. For concealer, I will be using the Revlon Photo Ready Candid Concealer in the shade Medium. And then for contour, I will be using this Wet n Wild Contour Stick right here. It is in the shade Where's Walnut? I used to use the shade um, Call Me Maple, but I feel like that one's a bit too warm, so I like this one. It's a bit cooler toned. Blending this out with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. Honestly, sorry if I'm a mess, you guys. Like, this is like my first video back you know so things feel a little odd i forgot how i used to do things i'm probably not even being that talkative so i'm sorry about that i'm just i'm a little awkward you know i've always been a very awkward person shy awkward quiet but then again i have a resting bitch face so most people before they even get to know me they think i'm like stuck up or something and that could not be far from the truth I am not a stuck up person, I am just quiet, I'm shy, I'm awkward. Once you get to know me, you know that I really am an awkward person and I can't help it, that's just how I am, you know. I try to talk to people but at the end of the day, I really am just, I'm an introvert as well so that doesn't help at all, I'm not very outgoing, I don't like to talk to people, you know, if you don't talk to me before, I won't talk to you. I'm a quiet person that just keeps to myself. But then again, when I do make friends and I do get comfortable with them, like they get to see who I really am. And I guess that's how it is for a lot of people, but you know, with me especially. Oh, by the way, I'm blending out the concealer with a Real Technique sponge as well. For the nose contour, I'm gonna be blending it out with a Morphe 173 brush. To set underneath my eyes, I'm going to be using this Hourglass Veil Translucent Powder. I'm actually going to use that same powder to lightly set the rest of my face. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm going to be using that with a Morphe M527 brush. Thank you. 
so my dumbass <laughs> forgot that i was making a video over here and just started doing my makeup um i forgot to mention the blush that i'm using is right here this is the covergirl peach punch blush in the shade i don't know what shade it is but it's just a peach punch blush and it smells really good so yeah and also i am baking underneath where i just added my bronzer and blush with the um cody airspun So while I'm letting that bake, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my lower lash line. For eyeliner, I'm going to be using something from this right here. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner Vault right here. I got this um, not too long ago, but I haven't used it because I've been saving it for a video. I don't know if it's still available on their website, but this is what it looks like right here. It comes with a lot of... Ooh. Oh. <laughs> It comes with a lot of different shades, so I was really excited to get this in the mail. I'm going to use this one right here. This is in the shade Overboard, and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my waterline. That literally went on like butter. <laughs> with the Morphe E36, I'm going to be taking this shade right here, New Yorker. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but you guys should get the gist. Um, I'm going to go ahead and blend that all over my lower lash line. With a Sephora smudge brush, I'm going to be taking the shade 1988 and adding that just to the outer corner of my bottom lash line. I'm going to go ahead and dust off the bake. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face with this. This is a Wet n Wild Rose Primer Water. And if you guys have seen my other videos, you know I love the coconut one. I've tried out the cucumber one and this is the one that i'm using right now i'm really liking it it really smells like roses so i really do enjoy this <laughs> highlight i'm gonna be using none other than the anastasia beverly hills and Reezy highlighter i freaking love this highlighter i've had it for such a long time um this is what it looks like so yes i love this highlighter and I will be applying it with a Morphe E36 brush. So now I'm going to go ahead and use this spray again to set my face. I really love these sprays right here and let me tell you that rose is probably my favorite one I thought it was coconut but I am really loving how this one smells and I'm not even that big of a fan on like the smell of roses but I really do like this one for lips I'm gonna be using the Almay lipstick in the shade call out and I'm gonna go ahead and top that off with the elf lip plumping gloss in the shade champagne glam I hope you guys like my makeup look and I hope you guys enjoyed my first video of 2020 because it was kind of a mess you guys I'm hoping that when I edit it and put it together it's a lot better than how it is right now um I'm kind of a mess you know I feel like I was a little bit awkward I wasn't talking that much you know just because it has been a while for me so please bear with me you guys I hope it gets better as I start making more and more videos again but yeah, as for you guys that checked up on me when I was gone, thank you so much. Um, it honestly made me really happy to know that there was people who care about me and who wanted me to start posting again. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate you guys and I love you guys so much. But yes, I am back. I did not stop making videos for good. I just stopped for a while. There was no reason. Thank God nothing bad happened. It's just... I stopped making videos as soon as I got a job, you know? But yes, I hope you guys' 2020 is going by well so far, and I hope you guys achieve a lot this year. Um, I actually have a lot of plans and goals for this year, so hopefully we can all achieve what we want to achieve this year. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below, and then hit that notification bell as well so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys! Mwah.